All right, we're at Bernie Moore Stadium with one of the fastest people you'll ever see, Aaliyah Hobbs, who was a superstar here with the LSU Track and Field Program. Thanks so much for joining us today. No problem. Thanks for having me. Um, when you sit back here, and I know you didn't do much sitting here, mm -hmm. no, you're always not on at your all. feet. <laughs> but when you're back here, this is where all the blood, sweat, and tears takes place, right? Yes, yes, definitely. How many hours, days? Sure. Three hours a day, Monday through Saturday. Yeah. So yeah, since 2014 until now. So yeah. That's a lot it's of pretty, time. It's pretty long time. I talked to uh, Benny Brazil, mm -hmm. uh, Benny and the Jets, mm -hmm. uh, who won a national championship as a wide receiver at LSU, and then also on the on the track. He was one of the great stars in LSU track and field history. He's a coach mm -hmm. here now, but he says, "Yeah, we come out here like the day after Labor Day mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is when we really start, yep. you know. And this thing doesn't end till what late June or something like that. Yeah, could go even farther than that, depending on if you make like a world team or anything. So, yeah, yeah. year round. Yeah, I'm about to say basically year round. Yeah. Uh, I did a quick Google, Aaliyah Hobbs. <laughs> How many people do you think live on planet Earth? <laughs> a lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah, any kind of guess. Any kind of ballpark guess. Okay. I don't even know what the number could be. <laughs> yeah. Well, it says as of December of 2021, there are 7.9 billion people on planet okay. Earth. Right? I was thinking maybe about 8 billion. Yeah, well, there you were. <laughs> Should have said it, right? Yeah, <laughs> so, eight billion on on planet Earth. Where do you rank in terms of like the fastest people on planet Earth? As of now, yeah. Uh, in the sixty, I think it might be maybe like eleven or twelve. Yeah. Maybe maybe somewhere around there. Yeah, eleven or twelve. And then if we cut that eight billion and a half to four million women. Mm-hmm. You, so, uh, of all the women on the face of the earth, you're you're in the top ten or eleven of the fastest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we I don't never want looked at know it. About yeah, that. I never looked at it like that. Like actually, that? count how many people on the planet. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. I, it's just I I'm just trying to make a point and how great you are at what you do. Mm -hmm. Thank right? you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, when when does that kick in for you growing up? When do you realize you know I'm faster than everybody else? Um. When I started when I was about eight. It, Actually, once I stepped on the track, like I kind of was just going out there running, having fun with it, and was just winning. Yeah. So yeah, eight years just... old, you're running track meets and stuff. Yeah. And then when does it start to resonate? Hey, I can go to college. I, uh, can... I say when I got to high school. Yeah. When I got to high school, I actually got more mature, and I actually realized, like, all right, college is next after this, and this will actually get me there for free school, and actually running, making an Olympic team. So yeah, I'll say it was about high school when it hit. Yeah. I guess when you're young, it's just, okay, yeah. I show up and run. Yeah, basically. And then as you get older, okay, there's, I got to line up a certain way. Mm -hmm. I got to leave the blocks a certain way. Yep. Everything is got to be perfect. Mm -hmm. All those different things. Um, what did, and you went to McMaine in New Orleans. In New Orleans, right? yes. So you're a New Orleans native. Yep. What did, uh, what did your time at LSU mean to you? And just real quick, in 2018, mm -hmm. your final year. When you really become a superstar, you were a three-time national champion. You mm -hmm. won the 60 meters, you won the 100 meters, uh, and you were uh, uh, the the leg on the four by 100. Yep. So three-time national champion right here, her uh, her final year. Yeah. Just that year alone, right? Yeah, that was all 2018. How did that feel? That like, was amazing. Just the four year, it went by so fast. Then by the time 2018 came, like that was, I'm like, this is the last year of college. Like I knew I have to leave my mark every time I stepped on the track. So every time, literally every time I ran the race, I gave it like 100%. Like some races, you know, you can kind of, if it's not too tough a race, you can kind of just relax and just run. But every race, I just gave it my all. Yeah. And it showed. Yeah, you said it goes by fast, right? And uh, <sighs> So fast. You know, a lifetime, my dad jokes, you know, women live forever. You know? mm -hmm. so. <laughs> I mean, you might live to 100, 110 years old, but your college years are just those four oh, years man. right there, uh, and, they're, and they're they're so impactful. So fast, yep. You know. Yeah. And you running these sprints, for example, mm -hmm. you know, to me, looking at sports, there's almost something. There's almost nothing more um, unforgiving to me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. than the false start. Mm -hmm. Whew. You know, yeah. I mean, you're you're not like football players. They're they're playing in a three and a half hour game. They mm -hmm. jump off sides. Okay, we go back in the huddle, five yard penalty. Mm -hmm. You're training for literally okay a sixty meter. 
your, your record time is 7.07 7 seconds. Yes, yep. So the jump has got to be so vital. Definitely. And first and, and last. I mean, mm-hmm. you see somebody maybe that comes in last and you say, oh, that person got dusted. But really, mm-hmm. the, the difference between the person in the front and the back isn't that much, is it? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's really to the T. Yeah. So what about that? What, what, what is the balance there b- b- between I need to get off to a good start and if I jump too early, they're going to throw that's, me out? That's that's the thing. You want to get the perfect start. You want to get a great start. But then again, if you get too good of a start jumping, then you're out of there. So that's the that's the mental part of track and field. Like yeah. you have to be 100% mentally focused and ready for whatever. If they're holding you long, you have to kind of adjust to it. If it's quick, you have to adjust to it. And... That's the thing about track. If you fall start, that's it. No redo. Like, <laughs> maybe the next race, but yeah, they you have to get it perfect. I'm sorry. Uh, they say sports is mental. I don't know if I can mentally handle that, you know. <laughs> All the hours that you spend out here. Mm-hmm. And then you get to an Olympic setting, or, which comes around once every four years. Right. And if you jump early, they throw you out. That's All it. those hours get flushed. Yep. Mm. That's, uh... <laughs> that's exactly what happens. <laughs> exactly. Man. Like, when I did fall start at trials, literally, that's everything that played through my head. Like, all the practices, like, the great practices I had, the great times I was hitting, the meets I had that I ran good times. Like, everything was, it was, it was perfect. It was going with the flow. Yeah. And then it was just like. Yeah. Because it's, <laughs> what's the, what's the process? They say mark, set, and you see the gun then, go up in the air. So, yeah, it's like, it's in the air, on your mark, set, and then you're just waiting for the the pop you're waiting for the the audio sound of the gun going off yeah basically yep and then you jump yep um so the latest and greatest with you um you participated the olympics got all out of whack because of covid yeah so it's supposed to be tokyo 2020 right which is instead was yeah so it was 2021 but he still considering it's 2020 to keep it on the four-year track yeah it's weird (laughs) <laughs> it's weird. But you still got your spot, and you were part. Obviously, you wanted to win a gold, but hey, uh, you were part of a silver medal with the four x one hundred team yep. in the United States. Yeah, that Tokyo experience was it was amazing. It was different because of COVID, like with the protocols. But just the fact that I was actually on that main stage with the USA team with my teammates and coming out with a medal, like that was, yeah, that's the tip of my career. Like that yeah. topped everything. Yeah, you said. You, you just this little girl from New Orleans and making it to the top. <laughs> right, exactly. That's that's awesome. Uh, what was it like to see all these different people from different countries and hear different languages around you mm-hmm. and everything? It had to be uh, something a once in a lifetime deal. Yeah, you. that was uh, that was a big thing. Usually, kind of track meet you all with like other countries, but then again, it's only track and field. So in Tokyo, it was different because it was every single sport, like literally every sport was there. And like we actually was talking to some people that was doing. Um, what is it, fencing? They had some USA fencing guys we talked to. They had literally every sport that i never seen, like, in person. Yeah. We couldn't go to the competition because of COVID, but we were able still to be around, like, all the different athletes and stuff. Yeah. So that was that was different. Yeah, that's awesome. Did they have you kind of locked down because of all this COVID stuff? Could you, um, could you be free to kind of? We wasn't locked down. We had to stay on the village, basically. Mm-hmm. But the village had everything in it. So they had, like, a shopping center, the cafeteria, and everybody stayed there. So um, it wasn't really locked down. Yeah. It kind of felt like it, though, because you ride the bus to practice, and you got to come right back or to the stadium and right back. So uh, it was like, yeah, but no, yeah. kind of, yeah. I got some other things I want to joke with you about. But uh, what's what's up next for you? Uh, Next is about door season like we said uh lsu have four meets in april three or four so i'll run in all those in april okay and then come may i'll start traveling to bigger meets so if you want to see Aaliyah, you can come out to yep. here at bernie moore and you'll be like the purple and gold meet the yep. uh the alumni gold the alumni gold they definitely it. need to come to alumni gold yeah yeah so they have, have about three or four of them i'll be in yeah i go as far back as the lolo jones days out mm-hmm. here and she still comes out here and runs yeah I I about to say, we had practice earlier i think yeah. everybody finished she was out here people that hurdle do they have a screw loose or what do you, i mean it, do, you, to do uh, hurdles i feel like you have to because i can never see myself doing hurdles so you want to you want to ask me to run fast and jump over stuff exactly i couldn't <laughs> i couldn't do it <laughs> i couldn't do it yeah i applaud everyone that do it <laughs> right i mean it's it's bang 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 
in the air, bang, 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 in the air, and, and fast, it's like, clearing those things and not having any part of your body graze it. Exactly, because that's going to make or break the race. Yeah. Yes. Shout out to them. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> a, it's a different thing, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, so, Aaliyah Hobbs, so uh, if you're driving around town and it's mm -hmm. like 1030 at night and you get, you, you get the munchies, Mm -hmm. Can you go to Raising Cane's or something? Or, or, or if you're a top flight track athlete, you got to watch everything you put in your body. Um, I wouldn't say you have to be 100%. Like, if you're really starving, you just starve yourself because you're like, I can't go eat this. Well, I'm going to speak for myself. Yeah. I'm not um, too much of a, like, perfect eater. Like, actually watching my plate, which I need to get better at, and I will. <laughs> that's why I, I feel like that's one of my main things, so I'm getting that together. But, um... I wouldn't go to Cane's if I was hungry. Okay, all right. But, <laughs> you're going to eat the Texas toast, too? You're going to yeah. clean it out? Yeah. Yeah. But it would probably be like a once-a-month thing, though. Yeah. That's the only thing. I kind of watch how much I do of it, but I still do it. Okay. Just sometimes. Kind of like if you're Catholic and it's Lent. Okay, I'm going to cheat like you once. You just, you know, just one time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> once a week or something. But. Yeah, but not not continuously doing it. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I think about that. I, I, I thought about, okay, well, is it? Because you're a top flight athlete, mm -hmm. your stomach's like a furnace and burns up mm -hmm. everything that goes in there. Mm -hmm. Or is it, you know, I, if I go to the movies, the popcorn with the, all the butter on top or whatever, I yeah. got to say no. <laughs> you know, that type yeah, of thing. Yeah, some people might, but I yeah. guess it kind of depends, really. Yeah. I, I watched another interview you did. Mm -hmm. You said you like to bowl. Is mm -hmm. bowling your thing? Yep. When I went, I went bowling a couple weeks ago, but that was my first time in a while, so I suck. <laughs> but I just say, you know, it's been a while. That's that's why I suck so bad at the moment. But they weren't yes. taking out the bumpers for you, were they? No, the, 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 no, no. The gutter <laughs> balls. I ain't hit no gutter balls, but I wasn't hitting as many strikes as I should have. What's a high score for Aaliyah Hobbs bowling? Have you gone over two hundred at any point? No. No. I'm not that good. <laughs> I'm not that good, <laughs> but I like it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll say the top maybe is like one sixty. Okay. All right. I'm still working on my technique. I'm trying different things. So yeah, yeah. It, all <laughs> sports are mental, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> you 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 fire that first ball. You knock down nine pins. There's one little pin standing there. Right. It, this should be easy for me to hit this one pin in the middle sometimes. But and it uh, goes straight to the gutter. Straight to the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm working on like technique for like hitting that last pin and like little things like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fun, it's a fun thing to do with friends, right? It is. What about beer? You you ever drink beer? No. No. I, I tried it once, but not a fan. The, yeah, it's just not. It don't taste good. So when you're bowling <laughs> and they bring that pitcher over, you like, yeah. oh no, no, no! I'll maybe go and get like a little, uh, like margarita or something, something right. that tastes like a juice or something. Right, right. But yeah, I never ever get a pitcher of beer. Just sip, relax a little bit, and and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's about all. Just. Yeah. Nice little chill vibe. Right, right. One or two. We don't need to go over the the two, mm -hmm. the two mark or whatever. Yeah. She's like, I'm not gonna tell you anyway. But <laughs> so yeah, just you know, a couple of them. That's it. So you earned your degree also, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's uh, I know that your family's probably proud of you for that, right? Yeah, Those definitely. Ones. That was one of the biggest goals. Like, you're gonna go to school. Let's go to school and graduate. So I was able to do track and graduate at the same time, and then actually still go with track. So. Yeah. What did you okay. uh, What did you major in? Uh, interdisciplinary studies. Okay. All right. Yeah. So when your career ends, like a hundred years from now, what do you want to do <laughs> <laughs> um, with uh, when you become an ordinary citizen, so to right. speak? Um, something like with the youth, like maybe like coaching a little youth track team, or maybe just mentoring youth kids, or maybe yeah. any sport. Just some with kids, basically. Cause I just want to help and actually show them, like you know. No matter like what you're going through at the time, maybe you have an obstacle, you can't do this and can't do that. And I just want to help them like with the mental part of just having goals and pursuing them. We just, uh, of course, wrapped up Black History Month and I had a mm -hmm. chance to visit with some of the young ladies who made a huge impact on LSU women's basketball mm -hmm. right here, like Tamika Johnson, Keanu Chaney and, and whatnot. They're mm -hmm. coaching now and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, do, do you, um, is that kind of what we're talking about? Like, I yeah. mean, obviously you're from New Orleans, right? So mm -hmm. there's a lot of routes you can go in New Orleans that are, that are not going to end up like a Leah Hobbs. Right. So is that what you kind of talk about? Yeah, look, yeah, look at me. Mango. Yeah. Like stay home and just actually help, help guide kids. Cause I mean, it's not much guidance out there, you know? So they kind of confused. And I just want to actually help. Cause I kind of was in that same position and, you know, made it out. So 
do you do you look at like uh, the social media aspect of things uh, and and people um, you know trying to be accepted and be the most popular and, mm-hmm. and that whole mental health aspect of things as well? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's one of the biggest things going on right now, actually. So. Yeah, yeah. Well. If you don't worry about that stuff and you just uh, go to the Olympics, then uh, <laughs> then the likes and the shares, it'll, they just, it'll come to you. <laughs> it'll come to you, right? Um, and uh, the men last year, they won a national title mm-hmm. here. Uh, and I, I know I, I, Benny, I told the women finished high. And I was mm-hmm. like, well, if you go to the Final Four in basketball, you know, that's a pretty big thing. He's like, yeah, but, you know, we, we strive for national titles yeah, here. Yeah, it's kind yeah. Yeah, that's a goal. I mean, there's a there's a fine line, I guess, between too much pressure, but then also trying to live up to a standard here. Yeah, right? yeah, because <laughs> it's a standard. So, but it's all it's all fun though. That's that was the one thing about LSU. Like, it really was just it's home. Like, like you just feel literally anybody that come in, I feel like they just feel the vibe of just like family and just being home. And yeah, I don't know. I yeah. love it. You went to a lot of the football games here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When they play Baton Rouge by Garth Brooks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I went to the games, football <laughs> games, basketball, a uh, couple of baseball, went to gymnastics. I went to everything except... Swimming and diving, maybe, or... Swimming and diving, the only thing I think I didn't go to, because I don't know how to swim, and I I don't even like pools, so <laughs> maybe that's why. Maybe looking at them going to make me be like, man, it might motivate me, though, to yeah. learn how to swim. So you're one of the I'm fastest people in the world. You're an Olympian, but if we threw you in the deep end, oh, it'd, no. be, it'd be a trouble. No, no, no. <laughs> it's a wrap. I cannot swim. Yeah? No, I saw, As a kid I'm during the try. summer, never got in the pool, it just didn't happen. Nope. We just never, we never even really went to pools. Like, they really, didn't really have pools around, so. Yeah. And if so, I didn't get in it because I didn't know how to swim. <laughs> I say the goal I was going to do, like, one summer, I was going to take swimming classes and learn how to swim. It didn't happen yet, though. Yeah. Yeah. You're busy running. Yeah, basically. Busy working on that. <laughs> um, what makes LSU a special place? I mean, you kind of talked about it. Mm-hmm. But, um, there is this kind of, and I do see like, it's great to see the different athletes supporting one another. Mm-hmm. You know, at a gymnastics meet, you'll see mm-hmm. you know, different athletes all the coming. Different. And, mm-hmm. You know, women's basketball's had this great comeback season this year. You mm-hmm. see all the baseball players and different people coming out and supporting. And so, it uh, it it is a, it is a special place. Yeah, it is. It's just the culture, the people. It's just the weather. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's just everything in one just make you just feel good about it. Yeah. It makes you want to come back, too. We got Mike the Tiger. Come on now. Mike? Can you believe some people <laughs> think that, you know, he, he should be out in the wild or, you know. Like, oh, Lord. Oh. You know. Uh, he is a fantastic animal right mm-hmm. he is <laughs> i mean they say he's the most visited uh place on the campus mm-hmm. you know I yeah can like you come to campus and you have to go see mike you just you just have to you can drive by on a sunday night you know and there's mm-hmm. a gathering of people you know mm-hmm. parents with their kids watching. or whatever and they're all like you know mm-hmm. getting to see get to look at mike the tiger there yeah he's uh he's a majestic creature um it's funny though did, did you watch tiger king that silly show i didn't watch it yet Netflix? i didn't watch it yet i well, said i would well that guy doesn't exactly <laughs> um he's not exactly a model citizen when it comes yeah. to taking care of tigers you know he's like hanging out with them and like scratching their belly and stuff and oh. the guy that takes care of mike the tiger dr dave baker mm-hmm. never like i'm like do you walk in there he's like never i would no. never walk in there yeah and we were on the like there's two you know there's the there's the wall, there's the fence outside, and then there's, and then the there's fence another in. fence. Mm-hmm. So we were on the inner fence, just having a conversation. Mike just sprinted well, up Mike, on the glass. He was in? You know, oh, you know just yeah. out of nowhere. Like, just like that, you know, he can snap. Mm-hmm. You know, so. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be in there with him. He's cool, but. <laughs> right. <laughs> we're not going to hang out that close. No, yeah. no. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Mike the Tiger, another special part about about LSU and, mm-hmm. and everything. So, all right. Well, um, I appreciate uh, visiting with you today. Uh, you had a fantastic career. Your 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 records still stand. Mm-hmm. Um, what's the adrenaline of like the four by one hundred when you're the last when you're the last one waiting on that thing to take off and finish it? Yeah, I say that's that's the most fun race. Like especially being last leg because you stand there. I stand there and watch the whole race. Watch it, watch it. Then when it gets to about right here, then that's when it's like, oh, we know it's kind of right. It's time to go. And then, um, then running on LSU really, it was it was always fun, especially watching Makaya Briscoe first leg, just watching her just close the gap like this. Yeah, that was always the best part of it. 
I was going to ask you about Micaiah because mm -hmm. y'all were kind of each other's wingman to the. Mm -hmm. She's to actually leaving uh, Monday to go to the World Championships for indoor. Okay. She won the U.S. Uh, indoor a couple weeks ago. Well, you're local so, from New Orleans. She's even more local at Baton Rouge. Yep. Baton Rouge Magnet. Mm -hmm. And both of you just racked up so many awards that it would take me an hour to read them all out <laughs> between the All Americans and everything else. Mm -hmm. But uh, but yeah, what a career that she had and is having still. Yep. Moving forward. Definitely. So y'all are good friends and. Mm -hmm. Everything. Yeah, she should be coming out here shortly if she didn't come yet. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Um, and so, in wrapping here, uh, what? Um, anything else you want to share before we let you go? Uh, April. We got meets all April. Come out support. Come out support. Yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be nice. There is that aspect, too. Like, you know, football gets 100000 and basketball, when they're winning, gets 13000 Baseball's yeah. got 10000 11000 See, mixing out the stadium. You know, I mean... Sometimes when you're a track athlete, you, you, you kind of do feel like you're one against the world. At, at yeah, that is true. That is the thing about track and field. It's not as supported as other sports. Yeah. Well, and a but, meet is long, too, though. It's yeah. Like, it, it starts <laughs> early in the day. It goes all day. You yeah, know? That, yeah, I'll say that's probably why. You know, a game, two hours, two, three hours. Yeah. Track meet could be, whew, it could go for 10. If it, <laughs> right. it could go long. So I always say it is the thing about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you just gotta just let me know. Tell me when you're running, and we'll just condense it. What we okay. promote, maybe, or something like that. Yeah, four by yeah. one hundred and one hundred. That is, isn't. It's early on, so just. Uh, that is a tradition, mm -hmm. is it not? Like, uh, you think about springtime in Louisiana, and the LSU four by one hundred team is something like every year. Yeah, <laughs> it's it fantastic. Is. Every year, it's exciting to watch. So we're gonna have our pro group relay together, running against LSU. Oh, okay. Yeah. All we right. kind of make some jokes about that. Like, we'll talk about shit. We're like, hope you got your relay together. You know, the pro group we're going to win. Then he'll tell us, I hope you're already. You know, just kind of joking around. So that'd be the fun part about it. We're actually trying to help the LSU relay team run faster by us being in the race. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's amazing yeah, competition. Fun. Yeah. You know, like in football practice when they talk about, okay, this wide receiver is going to be going up against this mm -hmm. defensive back and one iron sharpens iron. Uh-huh. You ready to watch it. Uh, well, yeah, when, when you come out here, like, these people over here in the Olympics, okay? So you're going to be going up against them today. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, uh, make it fun. And there's so many people on the team, too. Like, if you go to LSUsports.net and you look at the roster, yeah, there's so many people on the team. Yeah, it's a lot. You know? So, mm -hmm. But only only a few really rise to the top. Though, yeah, right? that's true. So, uh, I Iron sharpens iron, and uh, congratulations on a great career. Thank Appreciate you. you being with us here today on this beautiful day, and uh, best of luck in the future. We'll be watching. All right, thank you. All right, Leah Hobbs.